Well, Leo, I appreciate you being on today, man. We're talking about the senior frill business and just tell me and tell the audience a little bit about your background and what inspired you to get in this industry. So me and my partner, uh, Armin, which is not here right now, but we were doing the RCFE business, which was doing okay. And we kind of opened during COVID time. So it was more of a harder to get patients into the RCFEs and the boarding cares. And we were struggling a little bit to get it up and running and to kind of be successful in that business. So we were helping ourselves by doing placement. We were looking at, we were looking at this placement business that other people were doing, trying to help us get clients in. And then we came across Matt's idea once we started searching more into it, Matt, um, your uh, courses and your classes. I'm not sure. I think it came up on Facebook, if I'm not mistaken. It's where you're doing All right, more Facebook. Your- <laughs> yeah, I think you were you doing more of your advertisement on Facebook? Yeah, Facebook a little bit, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. So um we started looking into it. We talked to Matt. Well, my partner talked to Matt and he was very informative and just showed us how everything is step by step, how it could be done, how how much you can make, what the potential is. Of course, at the end of the day, everybody's always worried about how much we can make because we're gonna be doing this for work. right. That's always the nine thousand dollar question. Leo. Yeah, tell us a, a success story um, about a senior that you helped move in terms of maybe something. And I'm not trying to get you to. I don't. I'm not thinking one particular story you've done, but just maybe in terms of you know a senior was kind of at their wits end, what to do. It was just a very traumatic situation. You know, a lot of my residents that come to me, they they have fallen. They've gone to the hospital, skilled nursing, yeah. and were able to come in. Can you share us just a success story that you've, uh, how you helped the senior get from where they were to where they need to be? Yeah. I mean, the one that when you say that, the one that comes to mind always is a lady that I worked with for probably, I don't know, five months, six months, I would say from the beginning of when we started, she just came to me and said, you know, she was in a bigger facility and she was looking to move out because how she was being treated there, how management changed and how she was not liking the way everything was going. She only had a certain amount with her pension. They were kept raising the rent. <clears throat> so she was kind of looking for more of a smaller, something she's more comfortable in, something she likes. And this very lady was very picky. So that's why it took us five months. I kept yeah. setting up tours. I kept setting, sending her places to go and houses to see different places, assisted independent and it just took months and months and she was being very picky she needed private everything and she had a certain amount set and it's not easy when people say hey i have only this much but i want everything right so oh at that's the true. end and and they were not treating her well at the bigger facilities or the bigger communities actually um yeah i don't want to name anybody i'm not going to throw names out there but those bigger communities were not treating her well. They kind of changed the management and the place was kind of falling. I'm not sure if they were going to close down or whatever they were going to do. It's just the way they transformed that place from a nice, happy place into a very stressful mm-hmm. environment for her. And for, as for a lot of other people, because I've had a lot of other, her friends as well call me and I've helped other uh, clients as well over there. But wow, we've toured so many different places and i've explained to her you know if it was anybody else other than her or maybe other than me they might not have taken this much time to help a client absolutely i mean five six months i don't know if that's a record for her placement leo leo Leo, you've been very successful in this business but i think that is your secret sauce is the time that you spend with your residents the personalization of your visits with the families yeah. it's unlike the national companies and it might be very unlike some of your competition where they don't do those kind of things where you do and i, I that sets you apart man and i i've got the, i've had the joy of getting to know you for the last 10 11 months um you know but people in our audience kind of watching they don't know you but that's exactly what it takes man that's why leo went from zero to hero man you went from zero in this business yeah. to where you are today because of your 
uh, heart for seniors. You truly are an advocate for seniors. And I yeah. think that is exactly what you need to be successful. Would you agree with that? Yeah, of course. Right, Lou. I've got yeah. students in my academy that have done $34,000 of business the first month, moved yeah. three or four the first month. But to your point is well taken. Most of us, it will take a couple, two or three months to get ramped up. And we live in this kind of, I want it now society, right? Throw it in the microwave, yeah. go through the fast food, drive through. Kind I want it now. And man, I just, the business we have built and you have built in a short period of time, I don't know that many industries that you can build that substantial of an income yeah. by just, I mean, if you think in terms of like you had your first $20,000 a month, I believe after five, six months in, yeah. in this industry, I believe, <laughs> is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So by doing that, I mean, people look at, well, wow, it took you six months to do that. Dude, think in terms of what you were making your previous job. And Leo did that in six months. What are some qualities, Leo, or skills um, you, you think are, are crucial for some people that are looking to get in this business? I mean, just kind of off the top of your head, you kind of think this is the prototype individual that would, would be tends to be successful or you think would be successful. What are some of those qualities? I'm going to be honest. The one main thing that I've seen is you need to be comfortable with talking to people. That's one of the key. You can't be nervous. You can't be shy. You can't be uh, a quiet person. You need to be outgoing. You need to be talking to the, you need to be able to talk to people. That's like, that's the main thing. Part of this business is being like going out there and talking to people, being able to speak to them, being able to uh, solve you know, situations that they have, problems that they're having. Um, I think that was, that's the main thing that I'm still trying to learn, to be honest, like public speaking, if, you know, some of these meetings that I go to, uh, that's just something that I've seen that maybe I need to work on myself. Maybe other people are comfortable with it, but you need to be a people person out in this business. Of course. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people that will just call someone or receive a call, yeah. hear what they make, no, they can't afford assisted living and disengage and get off the phone call. I, I believe that is terrible. You and I, I believe in our agreement and what we teach in our academy is we want to treat others as we want our own mom and dad to be treated. Yeah. If my own mom and dad couldn't afford something, how would I want somebody to treat them? Do I immediately want them to become cold, distant because they can't afford it? Or do I want that individual to lock in a little bit, still listen, still attempt to help in any way possible. Now they might not be able to get them into an assisted living community if they can't afford it, obviously. Yeah. But you still have a listening ear and there's some programs, not many, but still some programs out there for seniors. Of you, it's it's like everything else. If you put your mind to it and it depends on where you do it as well too. I mean if you're yeah. like us, we're in a very saturated area with placement agencies. So Things that I but seen. you're still being Leo, but you're still being successful. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I get that. I'm glad you mentioned that because I get that a lot when people ask inquire about the academy. They go, "Isn't this business saturated?" It's yeah. like, man, there's not too many people know about this business. Number one, number two, there's ten thousand five hundred people that are turning sixty two every day in this country. The baby boomers are just now getting their toes wet in assisted living. If I was going to ask if some industry is saturated. I would ask about the real estate industry. I mean, friends I've got in my area, they're all in real estate, yeah. all in real estate. I mean, everything now, to be honest with you, nowadays, everything is, there's no thing, there's no idea or no any business that, unless you're inventing stuff that yeah. is not, you know, already out there. And like, like hospice, hospice agencies are all over the place over here. Like everybody that I hear is doing either hospice or opening boarding care. So it's like every, everything is, it's already there. It just depends on how you can make it different. Absolutely. Can you be better at it than that person. What can you offer that that other person cannot? Um, yeah. For people out there that may want to get in touch with you to hear on this video about your business, uh, your contact information, whether it's IG, Facebook, website, whatever it is, give us your contact information. Yeah, my, my name is Leo. Uh, our company is called LA Senior Consultants. We are on Facebook. Uh, you can check us out on LA Senior Consultants on Instagram, Facebook, and you can also visit our website, LA Senior Consultants with the S at the end.com. 
Um, we help with virtual tours. We help with everything. If you want an actual tour to, to go out with the families to the homes, if you guys need any help with boarding cares, assisted livings, and we're in the LA area. Hence our name, LA Senior Consultants. <laughs> I love it, man. Love it. And, well, if you uh, guys are out there are, are considering starting something new, you're considering starting your own business, and yeah. you have a heart for people and can be patient, knowing that income could come right away for you. I've got some students done that, but like Leo said earlier, I mean, it may take you a couple months. You know, you yeah. bloom where you're planted, knowing that everything you're going to do is you're planting seeds. And when you plant seeds, I'm no gardener, but I know it takes time to grow that apple tree and whatever else you're growing, right? It takes a little time, but man, you'll be successful in this industry. And the biggest success, Leo, for me, you know, because I've made some money over time is not, I, I can't say this at the beginning, because in the beginning, uh, it was about the senior, about helping seniors, but I saw the potential of the amount of money I can make too, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm just being fully transparent, but I got to the point now with the amount of money we're making, uh, I end up doing some pro bono work on the side, things like that, because um, it is, in all essence, it is more about the senior for me yeah. than it is about the money. And so whether somebody, whether I get a thousand dollars on the back end or ten thousand dollars, it to me it doesn't is irrelevant. It's about the senior being taken care of, and that's the way we teach in the academy. I know Leo feels the same way, and we yeah. got a bunch of students um, that operate this way. And so you might be watching this video and say, hey, I've, I need assisted living, you know, in the LA, California area, man, hook up with Leo in different states. We've got students in 34 different states throughout yeah. the country. So we can give you those individuals to help you. They'll know the landscape, the market much better than I would in their particular areas. So if you'd like to know more about the Senior Furrow Academy, just click the link below. Uh, we'd love to talk to you and get on the phone and have a 15 minute conversation, see if it's right for you. Uh, we do have financing and all that stuff available. I'm not going to get all the particulars, but it's just a very rewarding career to be involved in because ultimately you're helping somebody that's going through a very traumatic situation that needs someone like you, needs someone like Leo to help them through the process. And the good news is you don't have to, you don't ask that senior or their family for one dime. They don't pay you anything. We teach you.